Hello everyone, you are live with Nancy Schaefer, Missing Persons Recovery Specialist, founder of Missing in America. We are coming to you live with an update on Missing Dakota James. I was notified by sources today that a body has been recovered from the Ohio River. Based on my sources, this body has not been identified, but according to news outlets, um, they are reporting that it has been identified as him. I do not know how accurate this is, um, if maybe they're going based on clothing that matches his description or maybe a phone found or uh, what they're going by that the news are uh, reporting uh, that this is him. Um, the sources from WPXI.com has said that the body of Jaco uh, Dakota James was found in the Ho Ohio River in Robinson Township. Now, when this case was brought, first brought to my attention, I had reached out um, and offered an analyzation on the river if he was to have been in the river that night. This is actually concurrent with my study of um, when he went missing. First, I want everyone to please keep the James family in your thoughts and your prayers. We will be adding all updates to www.missinginamerica.us regarding this case. I ask that you give the family, um, if the, you know, a lot of t the reason why I'm saying this, even though my analyzation on the river and if he had went in the river um, that evening is consistent within the area, probably within a half a mile of where um, he would probably be if he had went in the river. But we don't know um, at what point. There was no source for me to say, okay, this is where he went in. So the analyzation was by partial and could have been off based on, you know, we don't know where he, if it is him, where he would have entered the river. So I sort of had to kind of fudge my numbers a little bit, but it's about a half a mile off based off today. Um, I do not, I do know that law enforcement um, has not, released anything the family has been notified why the press is um, saying that it's definitely him and that it's identified may be inaccurate now if you remember I came back on regarding his case I'm uh, hi Holly how are you I'm talking about um, the Dakota James case out of Pittsburgh Pennsylvania I'm currently adding all the press updates. Yes, Christy, Dakota James. No, that's okay, Holly. Um, I can I can re say everything that I'm gonna say is um, according to reports, there was a body recovered in the Ohio River. Uh, my sources has notified me because I did an analyzation on the river. It is consistent within a half a mile of where I think that he would, the water, this particular river, there's actually two rivers that surround this area where he went missing. And if you remember, I was talking in the other video, which you can find it on www.missingamerica.us. Um, 
I actually even talked about it when um, the case was originally brought to my attention. I am very good at unfortunate, well, fortunate, unfortunate. I'm very good. That's something I've been very good about um, as far as doing analyzations on rivers and um, putting factors involved. I have an accounting background. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's just something that has come natural to me. So it's about a, a, a half a mile off, but then again, I don't know exactly where in, they're not saying exactly where in the Ohio River this um, body was recovered. So I might be smack on, I might be, I, from what I can see right now, what's being reported, we don't know how true it is, that it's about a half a mile off. And also my sources says the body has not been identified. Um, why news is talking about it is beyond me um, and saying that it's him. Now I do know that the family, based off of my sources uh, surrounding this case have been notified regarding it. Um, one thing I want to say is um, we have all the news articles on his tab on our website to where you can read everything about the case. Um, we also made a video um, and there was, um, I had done a video, I want to say last week or because there was a, I want to say an order put up on Yelp Eat 24 regarding um an order that was placed i'll show it to you real quick that an order was placed saying i was kidnapped several weeks ago on the north side i found access to the internet inside of the house i am being held the address is blah 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 as you can read it nicole 911 please send dakota james when that came out, my pro my problem with this, even though I'm sure that the tip was uh, completely investigated, my question on this particular thing, I'm gonna read uh, Catherine's thing. Uh, yes, they did. It was near the boat ramp and he was ID'd, it had his wallet on him. Thank you very much for that. Um, my sources um, that had contacted me, but then again, it may have been before that, was that um, the body was not I identified, so it's accurate. Okay, thank you very much for that information. I appreciate that. Um, but I don't know just because there's a wallet on a body that's found and his phone. Okay. But Technically, I think that they would have to, I've worked with this and I work with a lot of unidentified remains and I do know that, it, you know, based off of decomposition, that they're going to have to do further testing to 100% verify that anyone can just put someone's phone and wallet or even clothing on a body and dump it in a river um, unless there are circumstances that I'm not aware of, but I do know that he does have, um, dentals in the National, um, Center, which is NAMAS, so they probably were able to quickly, um, do a dental comparison on this, but I was a hundred percent on. I still think that they should still look into this Yelp Eat 24 because I, I believe that this is a taunting. He was wearing the same clothes that it was asking seen. In. Okay. Thank you so much. That was one of my questions um, regarding that. I do know um, from watching as we are watching a lot of people even in the Pittsburgh area had um, has really put their heart into this case into helping this family very deserving family 
it was very hard for me to watch some of the press and if you look at my last video regarding this order pickup I felt that it was some form of taunting um, to the family but could it have come from some crazy person yeah, absolutely um, but that if if it came from a person that was just looking for attention and I'm I questioned the restaurant that the order was placed um, I actually did a little investigating and found out that um, they also were putting it on their Twitter page which I thought was quite interesting because it should have never been put on the internet um, as it was um, a lot of times I'm saying this may be a theory that people they might have done it in order to get attention to the restaurant and even drum up business, which is, um, I hope that's not the case. That's one of the possible theories that I have. Um, another possible theory is that um, this is a taunting um, to the family. Only because if you look at my last video, um, I talk about um, how you could see the anguish in the the just the emotional pain that his father and his mother was going through publicly in the news presses and I felt very possible that this may be a work of a serial killer I also put on the video that I think it's possible that he is a victim of the smiley face um, cult uh, to where young boys are founding, found uh, in the river. Now I'd be curious to see with the autopsy if water is found in his lungs or not um, because I guarantee you um, it may not be that case um, and it may not also be the case that the decomposition is um, consistent with that night that he went missing and lots of times they're dumped in areas that have already been searched exactly Holly very oh my god you were so right you're just saying it a little bit more clearer than I am not exactly a good you know uh, speaker uh, sometimes I even have a hard time getting what I'm trying to say out there so it has been confirmed that it is of Dakota James now I know I'm gonna try to add the link to his family has actually been in um, that area for a long time just hitting the streets searching and I know they have a GoFundMe set up um, to, in order to raise funds for that but I'm sure that additional funds may be needed um, of course for final for final um, arrangements um, I'm gonna find the GoFundMe and I'm gonna put it up on our link or on the website if anyone wants to um, to help in that aspect I wish I wish I had the funds to do it uh, everyone knows my story um, because we um, when this happened um, we were um, dealing with the Tremaine Mackle case um, when I you know lost my home and stuff and with the GoFundMe, um, we actually, I decided to, Tremaine Mackle's case was one of my cases, um, and I had it before he was recovered in um, Kentucky, which is in Owensboro. Um, and under the circumstances, all his family was in Maryland, so my organization, I wanna say my donors or my gifters, um, we used some of that money to fl uh, fly Tremaine Mackle home to his family with the love and respect that he deserved. Um, they didn't have the funds to do Sorry about that. Um, they were in Maryland, um, and our president, 
got on a plane and we flew him home to his family in Maryland. They were going to ship him back to UPS, which I thought was kind of tacky. Um, but I want to stay focused on Tremaine's case. Uh, there has been several people bullying my page and bullying me, questioning about our GoFundMe. Um, a majority of that money was um, used to bring um, Tremaine Mackle home, and his family can contest to that. Uh, I just felt it was the right thing to do. So, not really us did it, uh, our people who um, donated to our GoFundMe did that, and I want to say thank you to them as well. It was originally designed, um, put up for me to save my home, um, but changed after I lost it. So we decided to fly Tremaine home to his family, um, and our president got on a plane with Grace Kidd and uh, brought him home. So, I'm just reading some of the, the comments. Um, Joseph, that's funny that you say that. Um, as far as I'm aware of, I'm not currently licensed as a private investigator in Kentucky. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, and also, and there has not been one arrest that I'm aware of. Um, in Tremaine Mackle's case. I got to, like I said, it was our case prior to um, him being recovered. And I don't know if it was God's will or why I ended up here. Um... I'm not questioning it, but um, I do I do have not seen or heard anything that there's been any arrest in his case, Joseph, unfortunately. Or if there ever will be. He is, and I'm sorry if this offends some people, I'm going to say this really nice, he's got a lot of things um, he had a lot of things against him and out of the family's respect, I'm not going to say certain things, but because I love them dearly and we got a chance to meet them and spend time with them. Um, we actually, um, Lacrice flew there. Um, I met her in Maryland and then we drove back to Kentucky together, but we had to stay there for two days to make the transfer. And we had a nice room with a living room to where it was done privately. And uh, they're absolutely amazing, God-bearing, loving people. Um, so I do, out of respect, am not going to say certain things. But I believe that there are a lot of, they have a lot on this case. And I think one of the things that may be... Um, there's not any family members pushing for anything here in Kentucky. So it's not in the news. And they don't have that constant pressure, which could be good or could be bad. But based off of what I know, I feel that they have enough evidence um, to do so. I can't get too much involved um, because I don't have my my PI license here in Kentucky, but I am working on it. So my my hopes, thank you, Joseph. Um, my hopes with that, I want you guys to continue to keep all of them. Since now we're discussing two cases in your prayers. But the family, under circumstances, 
does not want the press involved in Tremaine's case for certain reasons, and I respect that. So hopefully we're going to, hopefully we're going to, something's going to happen. But, you know, I'm sorry to say this and you might be offended, but a lot of the problems with his case is he's African American. Um, and I don't care what anyone says. Um, I think that's one of the main reasons. I mean, he was supposedly killed in Whitesboro, uh, Whitesville and dumped in Owensboro. And I know White, that area is huge with Cook's clan. So I don't really, um, I'm hoping, I'm praying. I pray every day. I pray when I get up, I pray that I go to bed, that there's going to be justice in that case. Kathleen, I am not, you know, even though the organization involved in this case has basically smeared my name and slandered me, and I haven't been able to physically go there and work on his case, I'm not giving up on his case. Because I'm the only one coming public and saying, hey, what's going on here? You can find all the videos that we did on www.missinginamerica.us and see everything that I have said even before this is 100%. I was 100% smack on again. Yeah, we do need justice for Chase Master. Lauren, do I know you? Chase Master was a, a case of, I believe, I, gotta, I, try, I think I have a good memory, but it's a 23-year-old veteran um, back from Iraq. Um, that had some issues and actually my organization went to Georgia for a week and conducted searches for him and we also investigated his case uh, because the fact that it's a open investigation I'm not going to reveal anything regarding that but I do wonder if he's ever going to be found there was a lot of crazy stuff that was going on while we were there. Even so much to where the father threatened our organization's lives um, on Facebook. Because we were there searching for him. It's just an extremely weird case. But... Um, and that's when we got our first um, round of interns. The interns actually went um, to Georgia with us on that case. Because of one of them's working with the FBI now, um, I can't tell them their names. Did I meet you in Georgia, Lauren, when we went out? I can't pop, I can't pull up your Facebook while I'm live. I do know, though, um, the detective on the case. I have no doubt in my abilities that he's going to solve this case, whether it's going to be soon, uh, sooner or later. Yeah, Catherine, I know what you're talking about. I'm called crazy about that because of that as well. 
but if you go to the website missingamerica.us you'll see that um i talk about that and then and prior to this is where it's being ended up with there's actually a page called smiley face cult killers um i think america i also put i'll put that page and it 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 just focuses a hundred percent on these young males ending up with bodies in bodies of water and if you don't believe me, if you can't find the page before I put it up there, just Google college student found in water. Most of them are males. Uh, and we believe that it's possible Chase Massner is actually a victim of this as well. And the amount of bodies that's been found in, back, found in Lake L Lanier is extremely creepy. Um, makes you wonder if there's something not in human or animal in, in that water. Just makes you wonder. <sighs> Thank you guys very much for coming on and, and sharing with me. I'm going to put the link up on our um, Facebook page under the video. I'll probably put it in the comments or on top. Um, you can actually like the page. Um, there is a person that is heavily involved in these. Um, he does not put his identity. I personally met him. Um, he does not put his identity out or come forward. He just take. He just focuses on the cases to college students, uh, people leaving the bar, mostly veterans, um, and. He considers himself an amateur detective. He's far from an amateur because he's doing a better case on those cases and, and revealing stuff than law enforcement is. And I know he devotes a lot of time, especially a lot of time away from his family in order to bring this situation to life. I want to thank you guys. Um, I'm going to be putting all updates on missingamerica.us. Just click on the tab, um, Dakota James. But yeah, um, even now since it's confirmed that he has been recovered, um, I'm going to still continue with his case. I'm reading comment, hun, hold it, bear with me. Yeah, and, and that's funny that you say that. You're absolutely right. There is always a, a smiley face in some form, um, either in graffiti. Um, I've seen them done in a snowbank. Um, if there's a, a smiley face wherever he was recovered, Dakota was recovered. You go to the page, you Google college student or vet ending up in water. I also believe that uh, Adam Sharp, it's in other cases we conduct in New Jersey, He's a Marine, but they suffer from PTSD. Um, I think I'm not sh My theory is why they're... Um, I want to say focusing on veterans that have some form of mental illness is because it's easier for people to believe that they just had problems. Hello, Anne. And it would be easy to believe um, that it was something other than what it was. I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, and engaging with my live video. And we also upload all our videos to our YouTube channel, which is um, Safe Missing in America.
Hello, Betty. Thank you guys for jumping on with me. If anyone has any theories, or you can also become a member of Missing in America on our website. Just click on Join Membership. Um, and we do have an inside to the website to where we work on cases together. If that's something that you're interested in. But the only people who can see what's going on inside of it is the people who are members. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Uh, and I want you guys to have a blessed day. And please keep Dakota James's family in your prayers. Thank you.